Ah, there you are. Actually on time for once in your life. I'll give you a pass on hassling you just this once because it was my decision to come here fifteen minutes early. Why? Why? I was excited. I know you don't have a lot of experience in this area, but generally, people enjoy going out on dates and hanging out with their friends. Now that you know anything about either of those things. What I'm saying here is that you have no friends, and I've never seen anybody so repulsed by another person except when they stare at you. <sighs> and yet I'm going out with you, sitting in the booth of this cozy cafe on a rainy day, with the person I love most in the world. It could not be more ideal, except the person I love the most in the world happens to be you. They say love is blind, but believe me, love is insane. Personally, I found such an expression a bit bonkers in its own right, but based on my research online, enough people found this romantic enough to type this as their statuses, and you, you're people, so it's safe to assume, statistically, that you're one of those people. You're rather undefinable, you know that? You don't have a lot of friends. You don't participate in any activities outside of school. I've watched you walk to and from school every day for five years, and you've never changed your route. Not even once. Your biggest sin seems to be how boring you are. You're indifferent. Apathetic. Either sides of the sins and virtues can be combated easily, and both are extremes. Pride and humility, for example. But apathy is death. Apathy is nothing. And you are apathetic and pathetic. You stand for nothing. You fall for nothing. You have no definable qualities. And I hate you for it. But all the same, I love you. <sighs> Listen to me. I'm prowling on and on. This day was supposed to be more formal and professional, as we were going to discuss the conditions of our relationship. I suppose that concept didn't exactly go as well as I anticipated it would, but let's get to it and try to salvage what's left of a day like today. I believe we need to lay down some ground rules if this relationship is ever going to flourish, and I expect it to. We should go on dates every week, or every two weeks. We already see each other in class, and as much as it would be preferable for me to keep you with me at all times, I understand that you have your own life, and a life before me. Sure, it's a frivolous, unexamined, lonely life, but a life is a life is a life is a life. You know? You are now allowed to use pen names with me. You can use my full name and you can call me Mal, but that's it. I don't want to hear any sweeties or honeys or darlings exit your lips. I simply cannot stand them. They are frivolous and they are weak, and I am neither. Those are the standards I have set up for the terms of our dates. Meet them and you will be rewarded. Fail to do so and you will be punished. I may add things to these standards, and I may not. Now, I suppose even a shoveled worm like you has standards. Or maybe you don't. Maybe that's the whole reason you're going out with me in the first place. Maybe you want no respect. Maybe you want it to be treated like the needy, pathetic little thing you are. But nonetheless, either way... Let's hear it. What do you have to say on the matter? What are your standards for me?